Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion bringing you guys another video guys in today's video We're gonna show you guys the best tips and how to get more solo victory royales I know a lot of you guys out there want to try to get more wins and stuff like that guys Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you like better? Do you like a webcam in these tips and tricks or do you guys just like the raw gameplay with the commentary on top of it? You guys gotta let me know down in the comment section below It's really up to you guys if you guys really prefer no webcam I will do no webcams from now on but if you guys love the webcams again i will do whatever you guys want but first off starting off is where to land as you guys can see i'm landing in a little outside skirt city uh, I've, I've gave many tips on where to land and stuff like this but i've never really landed here at these broken houses so these broken houses are very very good because they have pretty good loot not too many people ever really come here unless the battle bus is like right over it so like for instance right now the battle bus kind of flew directly over it and it was the first city so there's gonna be people bound to be here but these little houses they have amazing loot a lot of the houses have a chest in it so as you guys can see i saw that person but i did not have the weapons that i wanted to have if they had a shotgun i was going to end up dying and i also had this big pot that i wanted to take before i actually encountered anyone now the reason i'm not taking it yet is because i have enough confidence that if i get in a gunfight i'll end up winning it so i'm going to save it for another instance like right here i just found two big pots so you're going to see that i take it i was saving it for just in case if i found minis because i know all of us go through this game and we literally find a big pot two seconds after we drank the big pot we find minis and it's just like dang that that's that's that Fortnite luck for you but as you can see this guy pulled up on me i edited the stairs real quick and i started shooting at him the, the smg is very slept on again if someone has a shotgun it's going to be really hard so little tip that i have for you guys if you have a submachine gun and you're in a gunfight early fight like this you're gonna need to be jumping around a lot so you're gonna need to be able to hit your hip fire shots the best that you possibly can um it's just because the submachine gun isn't the best in the game the things that you have to do in order to be good and win your gunfights with this gun is trying to outsmart the other person like as you guys see right there i put up stairs right next to the roof so that way he thought that i was going to be up there but i came down low so he literally i just outplayed him and just 200 IQ but basically made him think that I was going up high when I really went down low so that gave me a perfect time to actually put some bullets into him get him weak and actually finish off the kill now instantly after I won that city I saw that there was still some time to actually go loot other places I know that there's probably like three or four chests that spawn over here so I decided to push over here off away from the map now it's okay to do this sometimes because as long as you're paying attention to the timer you should be good so as you guys can see this guy's in an eye in a gunfight I know he's just gonna keep spraying trying to destroy me so all I'm doing is putting up a wall now the second that he stops and he's trying to reload this is when I'm gonna fire back I never really peek all I do is literally just sit back behind my wall and keep spamming to put up my wall because I know all he's gonna do is just literally keep shooting at me so if I if I try to stop building for a second and I give him that opportunity he's gonna be able to get some shots off on me so I had to make sure that that wasn't gonna happen so as you guys saw in the gameplay I, I literally the second he, he was reloading that's when I started shooting back and it ended up working in my my favor because he had to build but also reload his weapon just in case if I was ready to push him so when it comes to a 1v1 situation like that where the other person is just shooting you constantly you're gonna see more fights later on in the gameplay my best tip is to just keep building because they're going to need to reload their weapon when they have to reload their weapon they're gonna do one of two things they're gonna build sit back reload their weapon and start shooting at you again or they're gonna switch weapons and try to push up with shotguns so the best tip that I have for you guys is to keep building constantly wait to see what their next move is and then counter it you're, you're gonna want to be a defensive player because if you're a defensive player if you're getting shot at first your first thing is going to be defensive player you're gonna have to protect yourself and you're on defense so that's probably the best tip that I can give you guys when it comes to getting shot at first just build instantly and constantly build after you're done with that and the first circle is starting to move in you want to get to the edge of the next Next circle so you're gonna be end up pushing up to the new circle now when you're pushing to the new circle be ready for obstacles like this as you guys can see I see building right here and it's because there's going to be people that probably just got done with the fight um, as you can see this person got aggressive I was messing up my builds so the first thing I'm doing is building when it comes to an aggressive person like this you have to take your shots build as much as you can and then take your shots once you have high ground build as much as you can because now this this really helps out because they had a pump and I only had a gray tactical shotgun which which is not the best weapon in the game so instantly your first reaction when someone's getting aggressive on you is to build and try to get above
of them if they're getting really aggressive and they're not building a lot and they're just trying to hit their shots which a lot of people do on console you're gonna notice that a lot of people on console um, once they build up to you and they get right in your face with a shotgun they're gonna really just be trying to hit you with the shotgun they're not gonna build too often you will find some people that do but in instances like that where the person's literally just running around jumping trying to look for you shoot you with the shotgun because they know you're weak that's when you're gonna want to take a shot build a wall build a ramp st stay above them jump up take a shot build a wall build a ramp and that's that's the exact combo that you want to do when it comes to up close gunfights now this next tip is something that I like to call clearing the edges of the circle so we see that the new circle is away from us now there's this big gap between the purple line and the actual next circle that we need to go to now this big gap right here I like to do is called clearing the gaps you guys clearing the edge of the circle so basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that nobody is in these gaps you want to make sure that nobody's gonna end up coming from behind you so you have plenty of time you guys see I had two minutes and 30 seconds I have enough time to push over here make sure to check to see if anyone's coming from Pleasant Park just to make sure man because you never want to push into the next circle get into a gunfight with the guy in front of you and then because you never cleared the edges of the map there's gonna be someone coming from behind you so you got to always come back here check it out and I as you guys can see there's a person right here getting ready to get in a gunfight with me now we see each other they're building first I'm gonna get a little bit aggressive and I'm just gonna bit build above them and try and shoot them down because once I have that high ground advantage it doesn't matter what kind of wall ramp they have I can see above them now the jetpacks they're gonna leave pretty soon so you guys aren't gonna have to worry about this but jetpacks are very very tricky to deal with right now just because people can really get above you no matter how high you build but you just gotta you just gotta keep building it's constantly building and it also gets you better at the game because this is Fortnite. this battle royale game mode is completely different than the other ones because we're building uh 50 of it is having to do with building now keep in mind even though you do just get in a gunfight you have to have the mindset that hey we didn't fully check at the outside of the circle let me just finish checking it off there's only a minute left and we can outrun this storm so as you guys can see i'm running around checking around to see if anyone's coming up because we just got in a gunfight and i see someone in the distance sniping sadly i ended up missing that sniper shot if i hit it it would have made things a little bit easier but this is probably the last person because they're at the far edge of the circle now you're just trying to monitor them, see exactly what they're doing i hit my snipe so i know this guy's extremely weak so i'm just waiting for him and he's just going to constantly keep building now we have 35 seconds until the storm starts moving so you got to always pay attention to how much time you have a lot of people get caught up in the storm and stuff like that and you can actually use the storm to your advantage because you can actually push to the next circle like for instance i hit this guy so i know he's weak i know he's pushing on this mountain but there's 20 seconds left until the storm starts closing in so i know he has to do one of two things right now he has to either heal up right now or he has to push to the next circle so I'm going to push to the next circle and I'm going to set up base in the next circle and I'm going to wait for him to come to me because I know he's going to be in the storm. He's going to be weak. So it'll make my job a little bit easier. Now keep in mind, you're going to see I keep looking back just to make sure that he's not already at the top of the mountain going to shoot me down or anything like that. So I'm going to always look back. I have a minute and 24 seconds. I have plenty of time to get to the new circle. I'm literally just jumping around using the hills as a line of sight and then I'm waiting for him to peek. I know he went up on the mountain. I see his ramp just got absorbed by the storm. So now I know I'm just gonna wait right here and try to see if I can see him because I'm literally five steps away I don't see him moving in so I'm thinking I'm like maybe he went down low but you're always constantly reminding yourself that hey there's somebody behind you let me not forget about him and as you guys can see he fell pretty hard and he didn't take, I mean, he probably took fall damage, but he did not die from fall damage. And at this moment in time, you're constantly looking at the left side of your screen to see if anyone died of fall damage or if anyone got knocked by the storm, because then that's probably the guy you were just in a fight with. So yes, looking at the bottom left and paying attention to the kill feed does help out. It can make you a better player. All the pros do these things. So keep in mind to always do it. Now I snipe him again. This dude is instantly one shot. Literally just to tap him one time with a bullet. Now, because I took a sniper shot, Shot and an AR shot that caused attention to me you guys people heard it within a certain radius around me so that's why you guys are gonna see I'm going to try and push uphill but instantly because of that this guy ends up spotting me he came over here to check out what that sniper sound was and he starts lighting me up he starts shooting at me heavy so what am I doing I'm literally just building to try and save myself and he ran out of AR shots so what is he doing he's instantly rushing me like I told you guys earlier once they run out of AR shots they're going to try and push up on you with their shotgun but I ended up building getting aggressive as well I built up above him and now I have the high ground where I'm looking down at him so this gives me the advantage because now he has to try to save himself and also try to get up to me without getting shot at or anything like that so this is where things could get really tricky um, when you have the high ground on somebody 
sound whoring is the best tip that I can give you guys. You have to literally sound whore and listen. You have to listen. Turn up the game volume so that way you can listen to hear if they're coming from behind you, if they're coming from anywhere else. And that's why you guys actually notice sometimes I'll react, turn to a certain location and build perfectly right when you see their ramp because I hear it before I can see it and you're reacting off of your ears. Now, once, you, once you're above the person, you can literally just watch them and see what they do. And then when it comes to a situation like this right here, just start spraying, shoot through their wall. Now, sometimes they will get aggressive and sometimes they will just constantly keep building a wall to protect themselves. Now, right here, that guy got aggressive, which I was actually surprised. People that get aggressive like that, they know what they're doing. They're usually good players. So things can get tricky. Now, keep in mind, I do know that I put some shots into him. I hit him with a shotgun a few times. I actually hit him with an AR a few times. So I knew he was weak he was probably boxing himself in because he was weak and he was going to try to heal up or something like that so that's why I kept shooting with an AR but if I didn't put any shots into him like that my best thing I probably would have done was to build get out of there and not get in a shotgun fight with him up close because this guy is getting aggressive he's going to try and kill me instantly but this next tip that I have for you guys is going to be a ramp rush now you guys can see I got above the other person but he he understands that I got above him so his first reaction was let me box myself in so that way this guy's not above me shooting at me and what you guys want to do is when you're in a build off like this you want to make sure that every single material that is in that fight that's around you is yours so that way you can edit it because editing is very big in this game so as you guys can see he boxed himself in he's in a little box a little one by one now the first thing that I'm trying to do the initial reaction action that I have is let me shoot down his wall and let me put up my wall so that way I can edit it out and take a shot at him just like that right there so that's what you guys are going to want to do you guys are going to see a lot of PC players do this this is a lot this is like basically a PC pro tip that not a lot of console players end up doing that's because this is not an easy thing to actually do on console so for the best tip that I have for you guys on practicing this right here is not only to put yourself in the situation where you're actually doing it on other people but if you have a teammate or something like that and you get you guys want to run duos or something and you want to practice this have them box themselves in a a one by one box with brick or metal and then you use wood you try to shoot it down while they're constantly spamming it and the second that you see you have a wood platform down and you built it before they did then you're gonna have the advantage and it helps you get better at that so that way you're practicing so whenever it comes down to a real situation where it's a 1v1 you can end up doing it so basically how you do this is you just keep shooting your AR just constantly spam your AR and then the second you see that the green health bar is getting really low you have to time it to where your last bullet hits it and destroys it you push circle as quick as you can and R2 as quick as you can so that way you can put up the wall before they do but as you guys can see it is a 1v3 situation somebody is shooting at me and they're getting a aggressive now you're gonna see them getting aggressive they don't know that I'm third person picking it I take a sniper shot get them weak now I know this person is weak they don't really have much that they can do so my first reaction is they are weak let me get inside of their little base they're very weak and instead of staying on top of them building like that I'm gonna come down to the side build walls around me to protect myself from anyone else and I'm just gonna constantly do the same exact thing but this time because this person is literally one shot I'm gonna try to shoot through the wall as you can see, they're waiting for me to reload. The second they see me reloading, she's going to go ahead and try and take her minis. So that way she can get health because she was one shot. Her first reaction was, I got to get some heals, otherwise I'm going to die. So I'm literally just going to reload my weapon quick. Aim down my sights because you can see through the walls while I was building exactly where they are and constantly spray at that one location. You're going to get some bullets in and you're going to end up killing them. Now right here to end the game, there's two people over here fighting. I'm getting very aggressive because they're probably going to be distracted by each other. They're not going to know that I'm here. And they're in a situation where one person's above the other one in a one by one. And because I got above them and I started shooting at them, I literally trapped them in the same box. They're literally just going to end up killing each other and I'm just going to easily shotgun the last one to get the victory royale, you guys. So when you hear two people fighting at the end do not sit back do not wait it out do not camp do not be like okay i'm gonna play scared and wait till they kill each other and then fight that is the best time because they're distracted by each other that that is the perfect opportunity for you to push up and try to kill them both again guys thank you so much for all the love and support if you guys enjoy these tips and tricks videos please give this video a thumbs up let's try to break 500 likes i know you guys can do it if you guys can break 600 likes in today's video I will go ahead and do a new updated shotgun tutorial video because a lot of people were asking questions like what's the best combo double pump uh pump tack or is it double heavy shotguns so guys stay tuned for that video and i'll see you guys then peace